In this exercise, I'd like to create a sloped floor inside of a garage area. To accomplish that, we need to use the floor command to draw a floor in first, and then use what's called a slope arrow to have the floor slope in the direction that the slope arrow indicates. Begin by coming underneath the Architecture tab and picking on Floor. Then use the Rectangle tool to draw in from one interior wall to the opposite interior intersection of walls, a rectangle. Click on each of these little padlocks. This is going to lock our floor in to be flush with the face of each of these walls. So if any of these walls should move, the floor will move along with it. Next, we want to add that slope arrow. So you select on slope arrow, and then right in the middle of the top line, click. That's going to be the base point for our slope arrow. And then right here in the middle of this line, Click, and now this is our slope arrow going from here to here. Before we click the big green check mark up there, we need to check some of the properties over here in the properties area. Right now we can see that the slope arrow has a specified height at tail. What this means is that technically the slope arrow can either have a percentage slope that we can type in, or an exact height at one end and then an exact height at the other end. And that's what height at tail means. So let's leave it at height at tail, even though we could enter a slope if we wanted to. Now, as far as height offsets go, one foot is way too much. I'm just going to make this be one inch. It'll be one inch higher at this end than it will be at this end. Zero is just fine for me here for the height at the other end. So click the big green check mark there. It gets to be a little hard to tell what has happened. So let's look at this in a 3D view now. You may need to spin this model around so you can see it from this direction. And the easiest way to do that would be to just click the word right here on your view cube. When you do that, it'll take you to this view. And if you look really close, you'll see that this end here is in fact higher than this end over here. It's sloping in the exact direction of the slope arrow. And it's one inch difference from here down to here, just like we specified. So by using the slope arrow, you can create a floor that slopes in the direction that the slope arrow indicates, as well as specify what the height would be at one end of the slope arrow and the other end of the slope arrow, or you could even specify a certain percentage of slope and have the floor follow the slope arrow at that percentage of the slope.